overall thrust was also reduced from 24,000 to 20,000 lbf, 107 to 89 kn, mostly due to the reduction in bypass ratio. Since the small initial launch order for 2737-300S split between two airlines, over 5,000 Boeing 737 aircraft had been delivered with CFM-56 turbofans by April 2010. Continued Development, Edit. Tech 56 and Tech Insertion, Edit. In 1998, CFMI launched the Tech 56 development and demonstration program to create an engine for the new single-aisle aircraft that were expected to be built by Airbus and Boeing. The program focused on developing a large number of new technologies for the theoretical future engine, not necessarily creating an all-new design. When it became clear that Boeing and Airbus were not going to build all new aircraft to replace the 737 and the 320, CFMI decided to apply some of those Tech 56 technologies to the CFM 56 in the form of the Tech Insertion Program which focused on three areas, fuel efficiency, maintenance costs and emissions. Launched in 2004, the package included redesigned high-pressure compressor blades, an improved combustor, and improved high- and low-pressure turbine components which resulted in better fuel efficiency and lower nitrogen oxides NOx, emissions. The new components also reduced engine wear, lowering maintenance costs by about 5%. The engines entered service in 2007, and all new CFM56-5B and CFM56-7B engines are being built with the tech insertion components. CFMI also offers the components as an upgrade kit for existing engines. CFM56-7B Evolution, Edit. In 2009, CFMI announced the latest upgrade to the CFM56 engine, the CFM56-7B Evolution or CFM56-7B. This upgrade, announced with improvements to Boeing 737 Next Generation, further enhances the high and low pressure turbines with better aerodynamics, as well as improving engine cooling, and aims to reduce overall part count. CFMI expected the changes to result in a 4% reduction in maintenance costs and a 1% improvement in fuel consumption, 2% improvement including the airframe changes for the new 737, flight and ground tests completed in May 2010 revealed that the fuel burn improvement was better than expected at 1.6%. Following 450 hours of testing, the CFM56-7B engine was certified by FAA and EASA on 30 July 2010 and delivered from mid-2011. The CFM56-5B forward slash 3 pip performance improvement package engine includes these new technologies and hardware changes to lower fuel burn and lower maintenance cost. Airbus A320S were to use this engine version starting in late 2011. Leap, edit. Main article, CFM International Leap. The Leap is a new engine design based on and designed to replace the CFM 56 series, with 16% efficiency savings by using more composite materials and achieving higher bypass ratios of over 10-1. LEAP entered service in 2016. Operational History, Edit. As of June 2016, the CFM56 is the most used high bypass turbofan. It has achieved more than 800 million engine flight hours, and at a rate of 1 million flight hours every 8 days it is expected to have achieved 1 billion flight hours by 2020. It has more than 550 operators and more than 2,400 CFM-56 powered jet aircraft are in the air at any given moment. 
It is known for its dependability. Its average time on wing is 30,000 hours before a first shop visit, with the current fleet record at 50,000 hours. As of July 2016, 30,000 engines have been built, 9,860 CFM 56-5 engines for the Airbus A320 CEO and A340-200 forward slash 300 and more than 17,300 CFM 56-3 forward slash 7B engines for the Boeing 737 Classic and 737A. In July 2016, CFM had 3,000 engines in backlog. Lufthansa, launch customer for the CFM 56-5C powered A340, have an engine with more than 100,000 flight hours, having entered commercial service on the 16th of November 1993, overhauled four times since. In 2016 CFM delivered 1,665 CFM 56 and booked 876 orders. It plans to produce CFM 56 spare parts until 2045. By October 2017, CFM had delivered more than 31,000 engines and 24,000 were in service with 560 operators. It attained 500 million flight cycles and 900 million flight hours, including over 170 million cycles and 300 million hours since 1998 for the B737-S-7B and over 100 million cycles and 180 million hours for the A320 CEO-S-5B since 1996. By June 2018, 32,645 were delivered. Strong demand will extend production to 2020, up from 2019. Exhaust gas temperature margin erodes with usage. One or two performance restoration shop visits, costing $0.3.0.6M for a minus 5 series, can be performed before taking the engine off wing which can restore 60% to 80% of the original margin. Once restored, the life-limited parts must be replaced after 20,000 cycles for the hot section, $0.5 million, 25,000 for the axial compressor, and 30,000 for the fan and booster, $0.5M, $0.7M, for a recent CFM 56. The whole engine parts cost more than $3 million, $3.5 to $4 million with the shop work hours, around $150 per cycle. By June 2019, the CFM 56 fleet had surpassed 1 billion engine flight hours, nearly 115,000 years having carried more than 35 billion people, over 8 million times around the world. The CFM 56 production will wind down as the final 737 engine was delivered in 2019 and the last A320 CEO engine will be delivered in May 2020. Production will continue at low levels for military 737S and spare engines and will conclude around 2024. Unit cost, US dollar 10 million, list price. Design, edit. Summary, edit. The CFM 56 is a high bypass turbofan engine. Most of the air accelerated by the fan bypasses the core of the engine and is exhausted out of the fan case, with several variants having bypass ratios ranging from 5-1 to 6-1, generating 18,500 to 34,000 lbf, 80kn to 150kn, of thrust. The variants share a common design, but the details differ. The CFM 56 is a two-shaft, or two-spool, engine, meaning that there are two rotating shafts, one high-pressure and one low-pressure. Each is powered by its own turbine section, 
the high pressure and low pressure turbines, respectively. The fan and booster, low pressure compressor, evolved over the different iterations of the engine, as did the compressor, combustor and turbine sections. Combustor, edit. Most variants of the CFM56 feature a single annular combustor. An annular combustor is a continuous ring where fuel is injected into the airflow and ignited, raising the pressure and temperature of the flow. This contrasts with a can combustor, where each combustion chamber is separate, and a cannula combustor which is a hybrid of the two. Fuel injection is regulated by a hydromechanical unit, HMU, built by Honeywell. The HMU regulates the amount of fuel delivered to the engine by means of an electro-hydraulic servo valve that, in turn, drives a fuel metering valve that provides information to the full authority digital engine controller, FADIC. In 1989, CFMI began work on a new, double annular combustor. Instead of having just one combustion zone, the double annular combustor has a second combustion zone that is used at high thrust levels. This design lowers the emissions of both nitrogen oxides, NOx, and carbon dioxide, CO2. The first CFM56 engine with the double annular combustor entered service in 1995, and the combustor is used on CFM56-5B and CFM56-7B variants with the suffix forward slash 2 on their nameplates. GE started developing and testing a new type of combustor called the twin annular premixing swirler combustor, or TAPS, during the Tech 56 program. This design is similar to the double annular combustor in that it has two combustion zones. This combustor swirls the flow, creating an ideal fuel-air mixture. This difference allows the combustor to generate much less NOx than other combustors. Tests on a CFM56-7B engine demonstrated an improvement of 46% over single annular combustors and 22% over double annular combustors. The analytical tools developed for TAPS have also been used to improve other combustors, notably the single annular combustors in some CFM56-5B and 7B engines. Compressor, edit. The high pressure compressor, HPC, that was at the center of the original export controversy, features nine stages in all variants of the CFM56. The compressor stages have been developed from GE's GE Core, namely a single turbine, nine compressor stage design, which was designed in a compact core rotor. The small span of the compressor radius meant that the entire engine could be lighter and smaller, as the accessory units in the system, bearings, oiling systems, could be merged to the main fueling system running on aviation fuel. As design evolved HPC design improved through better airfoil design. As part of the Tech 56 improvement program CFMI has tested the new CFM56 model with six stage high pressure compressor stages, discs that make up the compressor system, that was designed to deliver same pressure ratios, pressure gain 30, similar to the old nine stages compressor design. The new one was not fully replacing the old one, but it offered an upgrade in HPC, thanks to improved blade dynamics, as a part of their tech insertion management plan from 2007. Exhaust, edit. CFMI tested both a mixed and unmixed exhaust design at the beginning of development. Most variants of the engine have an unmixed exhaust nozzle. Only the high-power CFM56-5C, designed for the Airbus A340, has a mixed-flow exhaust nozzle. GE and Snegma also tested the effectiveness of chevrons on reducing jet noise. After examining configurations in the wind tunnel, CFMI chose to fly test chevrons built into the core exhaust nozzle. The chevrons reduced jet noise by 1.3 perceived loudness decibels during takeoff conditions, 
and are now offered as an option with the CFM56 for the Airbus 321 Fan and Booster, Edit. The CFM56 features a single-stage fan, and most variants have a three-stage booster on the low-pressure shaft, with four stages in the Dash 5B and Dash 5C variants. The booster is also commonly called the Low Pressure Compressor, LPC, as it is part of the low pressure spool and continues the air compression done by the inner part of the fan before it reaches the high pressure compressor. The original CFM56-2 variant featured 44 tip shrouded fan blades, although the number of fan blades was reduced in later variants as wide cord blade technology developed down to 22 blades in the CFM56-7 variant. The CFM56 fan features dovetailed fan blades which allows them to be replaced without removing the entire engine, and GE forward slash Snegma claim that the CFM56 was the first engine to have that capability. This attachment method is useful for circumstances where only a few fan blades need to be repaired or replaced such as following bird strikes. The fan diameter varies with the different models of the CFM56, and that change has a direct impact on the engine performance. For example, the low pressure shaft rotates at the same speed for both the CFM56-2 and the CFM56-3 models. The fan diameter is smaller on the minus 3, which lowers the tip speed of the fan blades. The lower speed allows the fan blades to operate more efficiently, 5.5% more in this case, which increases the overall fuel efficiency of the engine, improving specific fuel consumption nearly 3%. Thrust Reverser, Edit The CFM56 is designed to support several thrust reverser systems which help slow and stop the aircraft after landing. The variants built for the Boeing 737, the CFM56-3 and the CFM56-7, use a cascade type of thrust reverser. This type of thrust reverse consists of sleeves that slide back to expose mesh-like cascades and blocker doors that block the bypass airflow. The blocked bypass air is forced through the cascades reducing the thrust of the engine and slowing the aircraft down. The CFM56 also supports pivoting door type thrust reverses. This type is used on the CFM56-5 engines that power many Airbus aircraft such as the Airbus A320. They work by actuating a door that pivots down into the bypass duct, both blocking the bypass air and deflecting the flow outward creating the reverse thrust. Turbine, edit. All variants of the CFM56 feature a single stage high pressure turbine, HPT. In some variants, the HPT blades are grown from a single crystal superalloy, giving them high strength and creep resistance. The low pressure turbine, LPT, features four stages in most variants of the engine but the CFM56-5C has a five-stage LPT. This change was implemented to drive the larger fan on this variant. Improvements to the turbine section were examined during the Tech 56 program, and one development was an aerodynamically optimized low-pressure turbine blade design, which would have used 20% fewer blades for the whole low-pressure turbine, saving weight. Some of those Tech 56 improvements made their way into the Tech Insertion Package, where the turbine section was updated. The turbine section was updated again in the Evolution Upgrade. The high-pressure turbine stages in the CFM56 are internally cooled by air from the high-pressure compressor. The air passes through internal channels in each blade and ejects at the leading and trailing edges. Variants, edit. CFM 56-2 series, edit. The CFM 56-2 series is the original variant of the CFM 56. 
It is most widely used in military applications where it is known as the F-108, specifically in the KC-135, the E-6 Mercury and some E-3 Sentry aircraft. The CFM-56-2 comprises a single-stage fan with 44